All right, what is going on here? Hey guys, this is Justin William Savoy, and I am just making a video on a whim. We got some, what is that, like, grapple and onslaught over there? I don't even know what's going on with that. Well, I had someone criticize me once, like, trying to diss on me on social media or something, saying I was a grown man playing with action figures or... I don't even know what that person's point was. They obviously had like a hole in or some kind of gap in their brain. Um, we got five sons. And uh, um, so I've basically brainwashed them and all things rad from the 80s because um, new stuff sucks pretty much in my opinion. So, and it's just an opinion, but can you show me something that's like really cool toy wise or something that's come out? Um, I don't even know in the last like decade or so. I'm sure that there's something and someone's gonna mention something now, but anyway, so always just obsessed with robots and mecha and whatnot in general. I got this little craft mat here going on. If you guys ever wondered from my other reviews what's going on with that. Reading the Bible. Oh, all, an assortment of stuff here. I got this record that was like held captive by um, my kid's mom for a long time and she kind of did like a slow release of some records back to me which is great because they're just collecting dust around her place I'm sure but so yeah talk about music I thought I'd look at a little bit of what are the CDs that got out that I'm kind of listening to and you know we got like this right here stuff like whenever you do like psychoanalysis of yourself and you look into the depths and recesses of the subconscious mind it's always interesting to uh kind of revisit some things that you know it's always stayed with me since my youth i've been a listener to hardcore and i had a spiritual experience and some would say like conversion experience and i got kind of weird for a little while and I, don't, I didn't stop listening to hardcore. I started listening to a lot of what I'd call a like Christian hardcore, but actually some of it, pretty rad bands that I'd still listen to today, and they weren't limited by any way um, to that. But uh, I don't know. I wish I had some of those bands, those Christian hardcore bands that I had back in the day um, that I'd bought on CD like in the 90s because there were some like really good ones. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways... So, some of these albums, um, or compilations, or what have you, just stuff that I used to always like to skate to, um, listen to, kind of like before, after, and during my whole phase of being really into northern soul music, and uh, um, a lot of uh, reggae, and collecting vinyl, and kind of being obsessed with all of that early blue beat and rock steady and more like traditionalist type of stuff i still always liked hardcore although i didn't listen to it at time periods and as many of you really know my chosen real genre of music probably is like some kind of well definitely like 90s uh black metal but also like some kind of like um and definitely nsbm i do like that stuff you guys can criticize or whatever but i mean i like bands that uh would probably fall into that category um just the way that they sound and there is like so much of a hardcore influence in those bands anyways and um some people might debate with that uh, uh but i uh, do see it so yeah and that's just i got other stuff around here but anyways i'm kind of rambling on um i'm kind of tired today Here's some books. You guys have seen some of them. I don't think you guys saw The Inner River. I didn't have that out. That's just another work by Marchides. Um, Pilgrimage to the Heart of Christian Spirituality, Kyriakos C. Marchides. So, yeah, that's that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, in this version, I've shown you guys Pilgrim's Tale, of course. I'm doing some craft stuff, so I got that electric tape hanging out. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't want to mess up my program with my crafting and hobbies, but, and then, um, yeah, so, this one right here, I talked to you guys about, um, Theodore the Studite and the whole, um, writings on the holy icons, this one right here, bam, 
What else did I talk about? A while ago, I talked about uh, some Lovecraft. Still getting into that. Resisting the temptation. Just, I I don't know. I got to resist the temptation. Just uh, plunge deep into the world of comic books because that's always there. And I like, like good stuff. N not to be a snobby elitist, but I probably will just be a snobby elitist. Um, and I, I'm really particular about comics that I'll read or graphic novels. So anyways, and I, I like a lot of French stuff. I like like humanoids, um, and like the whole Jodorowsky, Jodorowverse and Mobius and stuff, but I don't really own a lot of that stuff. Um, I got some heavy metal magazines laying around and stuff, but anyways, yeah, so here's some, uh, Peter Martyr Vermigli's stuff. These are great. I, I'm really happy with these editions and how they've come out. Um, here's the press, if you want to look these up and, uh, purchase these. They'll cost you a little bit of money, but, uh, I like them, they're worth it. Uh, Philosophical Works, Dialogues of the Two Natures in Christ, uh, the Oxford Treatise on the Disputation of the Eucharist, and, uh, Predestination and Justification, and I have, like, the commentary on, um, um, Aristotle's uh, Nicomachean Ethics, uh, somewhere, and, um, so yeah, there's that. Speaking of Vermigli, somewhere around here, I got something that's so awesome, um, because you guys might know I'm kind of writing on some of that stuff right now, um, looking to publish some stuff, and I'm probably working on additional, I guess, like, a, I don't know if I, I really want an additional, like, degree or anything, but... If I want to teach any of the liberal arts schools around here, i got to have one because all my post-baccalaureate studies is in medicine and uh, mental health and psychiatry and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, the I don't know where it is right now, but it's like a Peter Martyr uh, Vermigli extensive bibliography and uh, like index of all of his work. So that's good. So yeah, I haven't even opened this. Uh, Meet the Puritans here. So that can just sit there for a while. I'll open it when I'm going to actually read it. I like that it's a guide to like modern reprints. It's helpful, useful. Um, and then this is something I'm looking at. I'm teaching online and I'm doing a survey on um, philosophy. So Here's a history of Western philosophy and theology by um, John Frame. And some of you of a reformed bent might be familiar with this uh, systematic theology here. So uh, you can all look forward to uh, me talking and discussing that, I guess. And there's a book that I do want to get my hands on I don't have. I'm just looking at this forward by J.I. Packer. And that is um, Alistair McGrath's kind of biography on Packer. That looks interesting. I like McGrath. I don't read a lot of McGrath. I used to listen to a lot of his lectures. I like the way that he composes himself. He's a snappy dresser, which is like a plus, to be honest, because it's just uh, pretty abhorrent how a lot of um, people choose to dress these days, to be honest with you. Um, I have no idea why people want to be so slovenly in nature, but that's just me. Um, I digress there. But yeah, and I have this, you know, uh, you guys might have watched one of my ones I did on an older book about dressing right and properly. But here is a book that is called Dressing the Man, Mastering the Art of Permanent Fashion. This kind of stuff goes in my closet usually. Uh, when I was working in a field where it was uh, business casual, I usually took it up like a little notch from there and wanted to present myself in a certain manner. These kind of references were um, useful to have. Um, so there's that. I'm just showing you guys some stuff. Uh, my sons have been here, and I haven't really had time to um, really upload any content, so I thought I would do that while I, while I can. Um, let's just keep going with it, eh? So, uh, Gregory of Nyssa, and the life of Moses, I got this, uh, Maximus the Confessor here, uh, let me see here, it's rubber banded together, this, both of these volumes, you can just kind of see it here, Maximus the Confessor, and that is the same as this set, you know, um, I used to have a bunch of them, now I just have a few, um, so, yeah, and that's that. Um, and then, of course, looking at these, Philokalia, and I already did, um, a review on, um, some of the other 
stuff that I've been mostly looking at, so I don't really know what's new to show you guys. Like I said, I'm a stickler about comics and graphic novels, so I did show you this. Bam. I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on Lovecraft stuff right now, so that's what's up. And uh, checking that out. I don't read a lot of fiction, to be honest. Um, it's just not a best habit for me to get into, or I'll be sitting around reading some kind of Dragonlance no novel, like wondering why I'm not like reading the Old Testament, or at least like the Cimmerillion or something of uh, um, substance like that. I'd actually like to just be reading more of the Old Testament, to be honest. Um, and then, you know, outside of that, there's so many other things. Like, I don't know, like uh, the Bhagavad Gita, I would be definitely wanting to um, be reading um, Vedic scriptures and stuff, too, I guess. I, I focus really, like, from a perennial perspective, so I'm going to be focusing on um, stuff from the Christian uh, um, um, faith of which I belong and to which I believe, and I'm not going to really be, um, I don't know, there's just so much in this world, right, book-wise, um, you know, I showed you guys the other stuff that I got going on here, stuff by Varg, um, you know, All of this stuff here, good, 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 Evola, the Sufi of Rome. I look forward to reading that, to be honest with you. And then something that greatly inspired me, um, I do have a copy. It's so nice to have, like, a hard copy of it. I don't, yeah, it's buried underneath everything, so I might cause, like a, like, a collapse. This here is just a graphic novel that I don't really get drawn to a lot of new stuff, and I figured it was cheap. I wanted to support the guy's business as he's a local guy, so I picked it up. I like kind of like this muted um, art style here, um, so I thought, why not? I don't know when I'll read it, because like I said, I'm not really reading very much fiction. And to be honest, if I was going to read something that was uh, like a cyberpunk, dystopian, um, noir uh, type of uh, novella... I would read Philip K. Dick because uh, he's the man, so there's that. And then this is right here. This really influenced me along with the writings of Fritz Joseph Schuon. Some of you may be familiar with it. Uh, I love the way, like, when I publish the stuff that I'm going to publish, I don't know how or what or... It's going to happen, though, guys, and I'm going to do it in this kind of format. Look at this. This is just, like, sim simple and beautiful and uh, I had PDF forever at one time at my old work. I won't say where I, it was because I just, like, they really didn't pay me much, but they paid me in printing. Let me tell you, because I printed a lot of materials um, from that place, and I worked like a night shift, so that was nice of those guys to uh, allow me to do that. And um, so I did have it all printed out, a bunch of Ganon's works, actually, and um, Kumar Swarmi, and I think Shuan, too. And so it's good to kind of support Sophia Perennis, Perennis and, um, yeah, get that stuff. I, sh I think I showed you this when I did traditional books, Imperium, Spengler. Oh, oh, and then a friend of mine, his son is going to become a priest in the, um, I think in the SSPX maybe, or just more traditionalist Catholic. And so I told him that he needed to read this book, I lent him out the version that I had um, for um, seminary studies that was, um, I think I've told you guys before, it's like one time, um, there's this whole thing with the Orthodox priesthood and... Um, yeah, so just the politics of it all just got to me, but um, I did study it. It was a different version of this, but I'm glad to have this um, again. Um, so, and he recently um, reposed. Um, Taft's a phenomenal Jesuit scholar, so that's cool to have that. Uh, Gregory of Palamas, and, um, you know, he's important. Um to look at and consider, so here is this version that I have here, you guys have already seen probably if you watch the other video, uh, these, um, yeah, so, you know, um, there's more, but, uh, let's just, uh, call it good at that.
Just wanting to touch bases with you guys, upload some content. It's a little paperback version of like like a cheap little, maybe I'll just annotate it, I don't know. Should I? I don't know, guys. Like my own little notes and stuff. There's plenty of room to do that. And it's just a paperback reader's edition. And it was very affordable and I could just geek out on like a 0.5... Uh, micro pencil or whatever but yeah i need to get on the writing thing and writing and producing some stuff oh yeah do you guys want to see um i i showed you guys already uh, the perkins stuff that i get in reading here's some more architect of puritanism or something i don't know what thought some kind of there was like a decal or something or a seat you know and hopefully you didn't see my personal address on that, but if you did, that's fine. Um, so here is a defense of Reformed Catholic worship, Richard Hooker. I already showed you guys that, I think, too. So, yeah, this is just a pile I'm working through, and it's probably not going to change for a while because um, i got to do some work. Okay, so let's get into some goods that I haven't shown you guys now that I've kind of messed up my whole little neat stack here, but... So, I don't think anyone's going to really uh, have this book. And I had it uh, printed at Lulu a little while back. Um, so, Peter Ramus uh, and the Educational Reformation of the 16th Century. And here's the uh, pub pub publisher. But um, I had it printed on um, by Lulu, Print on Demand. And I also had this printed. It's hard to get your hands on it now. Some of you might have it who are of the Reformed um, bent or, um, I don't know, just got, got it back in the day. But I didn't, and it was impossible to find. So I went to these guys again and had Lulu print it. And so there's that. And uh, this is quite good. Oh my goodness, did I get something on this? I don't think I did, but that's just horrible. Uh, Peter Ramos, uh, precursor to Descartes against the confessional reformed faith, the Reformation, reformed scholasticism, and the Puritan legacy. So this, I'm actually just really stoked on this. And like, um, I mean, maybe some of you watching this might have this, but if you know about him, you want to learn about logic and the logic of the Puritans. Um, it would be good to approach that uh, text. And I think you guys already saw this. Yeah, that's just a, a Sole Deo Gloria book there. I think it's good to have if you're going to partake of the Lord's Supper. Maybe you should prepare yourself for that and make sure that you have a good heart condition while doing that. Um, and this is uh, Peter Martyr Vermigli, a bibliography of the works of Peter Martyr Vermigli. So I mentioned this. How exciting it is to have a copy of that. And I, I'm thankful that, you know, like you guys know my sad story that I lost a lot of my, actually my entire library for the most part, except for some reader's editions, just um, beat up knackered paperbacks that I was able to throw into a box and save. Um, you guys know that I like his music, so I thought it would be time to read about his life a little more. I like have been totally obsessed with this for a long time. There's so many other works of his. I have other CDs of his in my car, I think. But uh, yeah, so and then to be quite honest, uh, this is something that I just uh, this one and um, this one right here. These two in conjunction with one another, like my total jam, it's all about just, like, for me, I, I don't, I mean, I'm reading for the sheer joy that it gives me and writing and doing those things because it's like what God has inspired me by and it's what um, I feel driven and motivated to do, but I don't really have a set agenda. I would like to write and publish some stuff and I would like to be able to teach philosophy at the local um, community college here at least. I wouldn't say the university. I wouldn't really want to dip my toe into that necessarily. If I can stay out of politics and just do it, that would be great. But uh, that seems like almost impossible. 
And, you know, I'm just not on the secular humanist, um, real just modernist bent at all. Just I, I'm much more traditionalist. I uphold the Western canon. Um, you know, you guys know that I um, like authors like Bloom and whatnot when it comes to... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, literature and, um, books that I think are important to read. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways, um, so I would like to write and publish and I'm studying a couple of different topics. I've shown you guys before my notebooks, um, that I'm studying that stuff, but things are on the hold because when my sons come here, that's the most important thing is spending time with them. They like to play um, Nintendo games and stuff like that. I think that they play like Roblox, and I, I don't think I know, actually. And so I try to get time with them. And then as the weather gets better here in Oregon, we'll be doing outside. And I've been doing a lot of that on my own, is just getting out and walking around, exploring the world, trying not to be such a shut-in. That's just not healthy, you know. If, if you are like that, like I said, I'm like a very introverted person, and... Um, people think I'm like pretty friendly and sociable guy, and I know a lot of people. I have a lot of acquaintances around, but I wouldn't say that I need that at all, really. But I feel compelled to have some of that, to be healthy and whole in my life. So um, I get out and explore the world and um, allow the world to open up and unfold before me as God works in my life, and that's just what I do. So I've been doing a lot of that and uh, it's been good. It's been real good. I walk around town here and stuff right now. I'm trying to get a lot of exercise and eat really healthy. You guys know last year I had some health stuff going on and I'm thank God he's restoring my health. I guess I'll, um, you know, here's, I'll probably be reading this um, soon. Um, you know, I've been revisiting a lot of Calvinist stuff. You guys know I got like uh, some Calvinist stuff going on here, and I'm reading also Counter Reformation stuff. So, um, yeah, and then um, here is uh, Perkins, more Perkins stuff. So, yeah, a lot of these I've barely scratched the surface. It's kind of strange to study Calvinism again for me because that was a part of my early, early um, formation, and I was going to uh, a non quote unquote non denominational church. It was really kind of like of the Calvary Chapel denomination, to be honest with you. And um, so it was a denominational, non denominational church. And I was reading the Fathers of the Church along with like Calvin and really like being drawn more um, towards the Eastern Church. I think I read Chrysostom first through Calvin, and I've mentioned that before. Um, yeah, and then keeping it simple, when my boys are here, we just do some, like, um, simple... I read them the Bible, I pray with them, and uh, we play video games and hang out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, really, guys. Um, I don't know what else I can say. I wanted to touch bases with you guys. Um... You know, check in and say thank you for my new subscribers. Man, I need to make a video where I'm actually on it and I'm talking about something and we're doing a topic. <laughs> and uh, so I will, you know, check out the chick magnets right here, man. This is, this is, this is what brings the late, this really impresses the girls right here, let me tell you now. But, uh, you know, I try to get my sons, like, I don't know, I got some, like, retro G.I. Joes or something, too, like, I don't know, like, I think Snake Eyes and, like, um, Storm Shadow or something, like, just some of the cooler, I always seem to collect, like, the bad guys, it's just, like, my thing, um, I don't know, they just look cooler, I guess, but, um, anyways, yeah, so when you psychoanalyze yourself, um, I wouldn't look too long at that or be morbidly introspective i would advise against that um but it is good to know thyself the socratic axiom um uh, self-inquiry is good um also though you want to translate that and as a christian i look unto christ um, for the answers, because it seems like we live in a world where, where are the answers, what is the truth, well, I know what is the truth, and I know what is the answers for me and for my life, I don't know about you, um, but, you know, um, 
I'm just going forward in that and staying um, faithful to that. Thank God. Um, so, yeah, I guess at that note, thank you guys. Thank you, new subscribers. I look forward to, I think I'll do like, I guess, like a mental health topic or social. I'll steer away from political. Like, I might throw a little few political little jokes or innuendos or whatnot in there. But, I mean, what can I really say without being shadow banned? I'm pretty sure, like, at least my Facebook is shadow banned. Um, I know that it is, as a matter of fact, and I knew it was going to go that way, and I put it to the test, and sure enough, like, endless Pepe the Frog memes probably did not help my cause at all. But hey, I'll be on a video. Uh, my sons will be leaving tomorrow, and when that happens, I'll be uh, rebooting, taking some time in some silence and solitude, and getting some, um, doing some exercising and other things, and then I will probably... Um, go to making some kind of mental health or I don't know some kind of more serious topic I guess or some kind of video where I will be featured on it and eventually I probably upgrading some computer stuff because some uh, friends and I can always just as a GNU slash Linux uh, user just make older hardware do cool things I guess um, so that will happen and I got some like um Tamiya World War II model figures sitting around for like um, tabletop uh, wargaming type stuff. And so I will try not to obsess on that stuff, guys, so I can put out some videos instead of just um, being obsessed with like what current um, part of my hobbies I'm pursuing. I do have a lot of those hobbies and I, I love that stuff. I love like systems and stratagems and rubrics and all of those things I guess that would be kind of the draw towards some of the things that I'm into like theologically I guess I don't know so when you get a lot of time alone like I've had of late it's good to reflect on those things and you know, I had like a relationship with a person um, a woman that like that's like gone now and I have a lot of thoughts on that maybe I will share Nothing personal about that, but kind of my thoughts on maybe like dating or relationships in general. And, um, you know, um, I'm enjoying time. Like, it, it's so nice to just have peace and quiet and to get time with my sons. And my plate is entirely full. One of them will begin like the hybrid schooling system, and the others, um, the other one is doing like a home school thing still and um i just uh am totally focused on that and raising them right and um i have two older sons who i've been like parentally alienated from for like years and so there's always like a hole in my heart about that but i'm praying and hoping and um, having faith that someday that those relationships will be restored. That's like a whole nother topic that I'm going to make because I have a friend who asked me to and he's experienced a deep wound from being parentally alienated. So there's some coping skills for that and um, some spiritual things that you can do. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, video gosh we're getting into like a half an hour of just me rambling and prattling and my tea is probably not even cold like yogi tea they got these little like tabs here have you ever seen that this you can't really see what it says it says compassion is your strength so rock on all right this is justin williams savoy you can reach me at savoy justin123 at gmail.com that's savoy s-u-v-o-y justin one two three at gmail.com and i hope that i will um uh, be able to continue to provide you guys with good content god willing all right god bless stay safe um i won't give my comments about vaccinations or anything of that nature on here and uh peace out until next time guys goodbye